Hey guys, it's Tilly, and today I am doing another top 10 video. What, what? So it is going to be my top 10 signed books. So I have this stack in front of me that's like balancing and on the verge of falling half the time. So if you hear a loud crash, it's probably just these books fallen. So I'm gonna get started and go from number 10. So living in Australia and most importantly, like the most isolated part of Australia, which is Western Australia, there's not many authors that come here. So a lot of my signed books are books that I have bought pre-signed or ordered signed because these authors don't love Perth, okay. So in 10th place, I have The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. And the reason that this book is pretty much on my list is because it is the first signed book that I ever got. Um, I bought it from the bookstore pre-signed and it was kind of like super exciting because I just read it and it was like around the hype of The Fault in Our Stars. So to me, I was just like going crazy in my book world mind. Just like, oh my God, it's John Green. John Green touched this book. And um, yeah, I just, yeah. It was important to me because it just started this need to buy signed books. Next up is another set of books that I bought signed and mostly because Alison from Read Around the Rosie was like, you have to read these books plus the sign. So of course I bought them without even thinking twice. And I was a little put off by the covers of these books, which is Disruption and Corruption by Jessica Shrivington or Shervington, one of those, it's gotta be right. But then I read these books and they are so amazing and there is not that many people that I know who've read them. These are amazing dystopia duology um, featuring this really kick-ass female character who is basically on a plot of revenge um, after her dad was killed by this big company and so she decides the way to get through to this company is by using the owner's son to get through to him. I think that makes sense, I'm not sure. But it is so amazing and if you guys didn't take any recommendations out of the stack of books, it is this one. You have to read it. And they've just brought out new covers too, so jump on it. And in eight Place. We have a local Perth author who I did an interview with, which I'll leave a link below. She is so wonderful and like she left this amazing personalised message to me. And that is Meg Caddy, who is the author of Where. This is a fantasy that you guys will really enjoy uh, featuring werewolves. Um, basically werewolves are really calm and passive in this book until their home is threatened and they are put on the run. And it was so good. So good. And so the message in here says, To the lovely Tilly, you are an absolute babe. Thanks for all the book love and for the interview. I hope to read yours one day. And I just really love Meg Caddy so much. Next one is presents that I got from my cousin who is Harley Reads on Tumblr. Basically, he likes to spoil me sometimes um, for Christmas and get me like limited edition signed books. But my favourites out of that so far is The Maze Runner by James Dashner and The Scorch Trials. I am very excitedly waiting for The Death Cure because it's going to be so pretty to just match these beautiful editions. Um, so, yes, these are both just signed by James Dashner. There's no personalised messages, it's just his signature. But these books are so beautiful that they just have to be one of my favourites. So it has like the really fluorescent covers and on the back if you ain't scared, you ain't human. And I just really love them so much. So once again, this is another dystopia trilogy with a prequel as well. Um, if you guys haven't read it, there's a flower in it. If you guys haven't read them, you're pretty much missing out. But if you haven't read them, watch the movies. They're equally good. Like the second one scared me so much at some points, but I love them. And Dylan O'Brien's in them. And me know my babies. This next one is an author that I would like love to meet with all my heart and just take my huge bag of books and just plunk them down and say, sign these for me, please, with personalized messages and love me as a human being. And that would be Rick Rorden. And my book that I have signed is The Blood of Olympus, which once again my cousin bought for me for Christmas, which I was super happy about because everyone loves Rick Rorden. Well, maybe not everyone, but a lot of people love Rick Rodden, and if you don't love Rick Rodden, you at least have to love one of the characters in his books because he just does them so well and you just want to protect them all for the rest of your lives. And in fifth place we have Frankie by Siobhan Ploiser. This is an Australian author who came over for a book event not so long ago um, at Boffins and basically like I've met her twice now. And she is an absolute sweetheart and her book is amazing. So it features around a girl called Frankie who is quite a problematic protagonist but you kind of love her anyway. And she ends up finding out that she has a long lost brother, um, well a half brother but she really wants to get to know him and so she ends up meeting him but once she does he goes missing. So Frankie 
Frankie is trying to find her long lost brother, runs into what happens to be quite attractive boy who is helping her on this journey. And I was so struck by the plot twist at the end of this book, but I still love it so much. And so Siobhan Poza wrote, Dear Tilly, Insert awesome unique thing about how wonderful and amazing and talented you are with a little smiley face. And I just, I just, I treasure this book so much. And Siobhan Poza, she's so perfect. So in fourth place, we have one of my all-time favorite cover art editions that is signed, which is like only a handful that I have, but it is by Maggie Stavotter and it is for Sinner, which is the fourth book in the series. Um, so when I bought this edition, it came with a signed dust jacket with her own original artwork on it. And this is it. I just want to point out like this is probably one of the most beautiful things that I have ever owned in my entire life. And I absolutely treasure this. It's so beautiful and unique and I just love it so much. Now we're getting excited because it's the top three and I have like some really amazing books that are in this top three section that is well assigned but um, in third place we have the wonderful Wilkostakis who signed my first third and the sidekicks and the funny thing is is that I actually had both of these pre-signed before I met Will who came to Perth for the Buffins event with Siobhan Ploza and I pretty much gave my books and said you've already signed them but just make them a little bit more awesome so he did he did um, so in the first third he did a quote of my mum who told him that Tilly needs to clean her room, please. Always love that. He also did a portrait of me uh, with my curly hair, which isn't curled, well, naturally curly. Um, and then said, great to see you again, Tilly. Thank you for all your support, Will. And Will is an absolute sweetheart. You guys just love him, okay? You will love him. And also The Sidekicks, which is his new book, um, he wrote, Dear Tilly, made more awesome in June. And then he said to go see page 143 where there is a typo in his book and he pointed it out. I love him for that. This book um, means so much to me, The Sidekicks. It is about um, three friends who all share the same best friend and when their best friend passes away, they have to learn to cope and deal with that together, even though they're all struggling and it's just, so good and heart-wrenching and amazing and I really want you guys to read it because it's so great. If you do, let me know how you like it because it's so good. Oh my god, okay, so in second place, this book, ugh, all these books mean so much to me, but like this one just owns my heart and that is my first edition, the first copy I ever bought of The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. Um, so I read this book and I was completely encaptured by it and then I found out that the author was going to Perth to promote the movie and so I was like okay I go see an early screening of the movie and I get to get my book signed and I got to buy like a special edition hardcover that was only available at the signings and so I was pretty excited um, so he wrote, Dear Tilly, thank you, and then his signature, but I did get like all my other Marcus Zizak books signed too, so it's like little messages and all of them, but this one is by far my favourite, and if you guys haven't read The Book Thief, it is my favourite book, if you haven't noticed from these videos, and I highly recommend it, and if you don't want to read it, watch the movie, but in saying that, if you don't read it, that's totally okay, it's still perfect. And lastly, in first place, so these books are not only like amazing, but they were also signed by the author in person, which I travelled to Sydney to go and see, and see my book friends too, because I really like them. But this author is like one of my all-time favourites, and she was there, and she was absolutely funny and hilarious and awesome, and just like the perfect image you ever have for an author ever.
there is no such thing as a book buying ban in my life anymore. I don't know why I ever fooled myself into thinking I can do that, but you know, I'm me, so I bought books. A lot of books. Thank you for watching, and I hope you guys all have a lovely day, and I shall see you guys soon. Bye!